Cell phones have the power to take pictures, search the web, and connect us with others around the world. But what's the controversy about it? We'll give you on the latest with the change. Plus, there's something slithering around Truman, but it's not exactly what you would expect. Find out more on the science pet and what she ate for lunch. Hello, I'm Mike Ortiz and welcome to Truman Magazine. Since the addition of cell phones in schools, there has been some controversy surrounding the subject. Reporter Anthony Cruz has more on the story. Since March 2nd, 2015, a new phone policy has been put into effect here at Truman High School. Thanks to Mayor de Blasio, the ban has been lifted. Some students have a positive view on the change. I feel actually good about it because I don't even have to go outside, waste a dollar, come back in just to go to practice or something. I had that difficulty when we was here, and then when we had games, we had to go outside and come back in, so it was wasting a lot of time. Some seem a bit skeptical. Now you could just have the phone in school, but can't use it at all. Some students seem to think the teachers are having a strict reaction to the policy change. It's really strict. Let's say that. It's really, really strict. You get caught with your phone, suspension. So it's like lockdown right now. We did try talking to seven administrators and all of them said that they did not want to be on camera or comment on the situation. The principal included and one administrator did say off the books though that the rate of suspension is going up due to the change in policy. I'm Anthony Cruz reporting from the first floor back to you in the studio. The month of February was an especially important month to our students here at Truman. Our school celebrated the event by hosting its first ever Black History Month concert. Mahu and Paul has the details. February is the shortest month of the year, yet arguably one of the most significant. You see, the difference between you and me is that I don't pretend to be a friend of someone who thinks they can own me. So and that because of, I'll never know my last name. Truman decided to highlight the importance of this month by hosting its very first Black History Month concert, showing off the struggles of African Americans throughout history through music, dance, presentation, and poetry. Although this concert was for the students, our students are already working hard for the next concert that will be hosted in May. Reporting from our auditorium, this is Maru and Paul. And coming up, see what got students snapping their fingers and rhyming words. Also, find out what has students coming to class early when we return after this short break. Come hither and realize your destiny. Welcome to Student Council. We're just kidding. Welcome to Student Council. Welcome back to Mustang Media. We'll continue with our next story. April is right around the corner and English classes will be participating in a poetry contest where the best four poems from each grade level will be chosen. The top four poets will take a trip to Webster Hall where they will perform and record their poems. Teachers will collect poems from students on April 21st or students themselves can deliver their work personally to Ms. Giovinco's office. Something sinister is slithering its way in the halls of Truman. The question is what? Here's Mohammed Taha with your story. It's not every day you see a snake wrapped around someone's arm in Truman, but that's not uncommon in earth science teacher Mr. Bozil's classroom. This is Carnage, a ball python residing in a tank in room 310. But why a snake? I just always like reptiles. Like, there's no particular reason why I got the snake, um, but I always like reptiles, and I always wanted to have a pet. So. Here we have Carnage in her home about to have a meal. She strikes her prey and grasps it tight. Carnage is a constrictor, meaning she squeezes the life out of her prey before devouring it. Although not big enough yet, Carnage might grow enough to attempt to eat humans. Although ball pythons generally grow to be three to four feet long, they can reach up to six feet. But how do students react to Carnage? Curious, some curious, some scared, but most of them are like interested in wanting to see it eat and different things like that. Mr. Bozil hopes to continue using Carnage as a learning tool for his students. I'm Mohamed Taha, back to you. 
I'm your host, Mark Ortiz. We hope to see you here next time. Come back for more local news. Your school, your news, Truman Magazine.